Welcome to product overview video on S-Concrete wall design. This video is intended to expand upon the S-Concrete overview video on our website. If you haven't seen it yet, we encourage you to watch that first. S-Concrete gives users a tool to accurately design and code check wall sections much faster than they could by hand. It supports multiple international concrete design codes including CSA, ACI, and can import forces from S-Frame analysis. The quick design process is important in industry where time is money. You can perform sensitivity analysis easily to quickly evaluate design changes and import forces from S-Frame to better represent real life conditions. Looking at S-Concrete now, we can see the different shapes we have available for, to us. We have I-shaped walls, T-shape, L-shape, and so on. If we go to the Edit menu and to the Loads tool, we can see the loads have already been defined. These can be brought in from S-Frame, which we'll show you later, Excel, or they can be entered manually by hand. You can also apply these to individual panels or the section as a whole. As with any section in S-Concrete, we can do manual design by right or left clicking to add or remove reinforcing steel. The code check instantaneously updates when we make these changes. Alternatively, we can also edit reinforcement from a window as well and edit each zone and panel independently. If necessary, we can tell S-Concrete to consider slenderness effects or seismic parameters to better represent real life conditions. And we can also view and export axial load versus moment diagrams for both sections and panels and at different orientations as well. And the report tool in S-Concrete allows us to view clause references that describe why our section is failing code checks. We can now set up design constraints to run an automated design. If we wanted to, we could control any of the parameters in this window. And then S-Concrete can run an automated design that meets the code criteria based on our input. And you can see, in only a few iterations, S-Concrete came up with this acceptable design. Now if we wanted to go from S-Frame into S-Concrete, you can see here that we have a sample model created with shells representing the wall and wall integration line mid-height, which will report result at that point. If we switch to the graphical results window, we can display our contour result diagrams. And if we right-click on the wall integration line and click Concrete Design, S-Frame gives us the ability to import the forces at the line into S-Concrete. We can select what type of wall, which code, CSA, ACI, and even the units that we want to use. Clicking OK will open S-Concrete, and it gives us the opportunity to design the wall according to the loads that we have imported. It's imported the single load case we had in S-Frame and applied the loading scenario to our wall section in S-Concrete. Looking at our code check, our shear and torsion utilization factor is greater than 1, causing an unacceptable status, and it will de require design. So we'll set up our default constraints again. I will just st stick with the default for now, and we'll run a quick automated design. And in just a few seconds, S-Concrete has found a design that is within the passing criteria. And once again, we can view the report for this design. We can see the individual panels and zones and their reinforcement. As you can see, S-Concrete can be used to speed up the reinforced concrete design process. Users can easily evaluate multiple design alternatives or perform sensitivity analysis with instantaneous code checking. And the built-in S-Frame link allows you to bring in analysis results to design your section. If you'd like more information on S-Concrete, 
You'll be pleased to know we have additional videos on each beams and columns and they can be found on our website. If you're interested in purchasing the software, please contact us.